Hello everyone, welcome back to the third episode of the Deus Ex playthrough with me and Drew. Um, okay, so you're right to see on that, Drew? You can see everything yep. I'm doing? and all yep. good. Yep. Okay, uh, so we've just been, we just arrived from the rooftop of the uh, New York City generator building run by the NSF. Uh, I also, I've got a, an ethics question uh, that we'll, we'll probably have to be up against at some point. Now, we obviously consider MJ-12 to be the bad guys and as such mm -hmm. are not immune from being shot or whatever, right? They, they, mm -hmm. they do not factor in into our, our non-lethal part of our playthrough. However, UNATCO troops... I, oh, I'm no. To okay. say... Yeah, we're probably going to disagree on this. Go on, what's your... I... I think UNATCO troops, I, I would say non-lethal. Um, I, I don't think that then, then, then you know, they're not really complicit. They're not really shady. You know, they are like the next stage of UN peacekeepers. And I, I wouldn't, you know. But I, they're not, the problem is they're not that actually, right? Are they? They're, they are the conspiratorial view of what you, what you, the UN is. That, to, for me, MJ-12, they're, they're evil and they're clear about what they're doing and they're doing evil things. Yeah. UNATCO are worse because they're evil and they're pretending to be good, and that's worse to me. Ah, see, I'm thinking of UNATCO as a corrupted organisation, similar to Sam Carter. I'm sort of taking the Sam Carter position, where it's like, look, the thing is, you know, we, we have an international peacekeeping force, right, of sorts, of sorts. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and yes, it's been corrupted by MJ-12 and other nefarious interests, uh, however, if we can, uh, you know, fix that, rid the corruption, surely that's still a, 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 a decent... Yeah, I don't, I don't even like... Okay, so Sam Carter, right? Mm -hmm. He's all like, you know, don't, don't be lethal, do things non-lethally, pacifism is great. And it's like, okay, well, why did you join the military then? It's a bit, it's a bit liberalism. You know what I mean? Like it's I mean, a bit this was, like this was a game from what? Is it in '99? Uh, so <laughs> not doesn't matter. We're it's judging the West it. Wing. I, I kind of always felt this way. There's, there's a hypocrisy to Sam, and there's a hypocrisy to and uh, the UN. Yeah, you, you could you could argue that like the individual troops, they don't know that their organization has been corrupted, mm -hmm. and I, I don't have an argument against that. But they are an evil organization. I think they're a, a more evil, more powerfully and potentially dangerous organization than MJ12 are, and therefore. You know, in real world, I'd be on your side, but in video, video game that pushes me a bit more militant than usual, I'm like, no, they're mm. the enemy. The okay, only goodies so... are Tracer Tong and his boys. I mean, I, I appreciate Tracer Tong as much as the next people. What about Gary Savage? I can't. I, I don't have as good a memory for you as the characters and what they represent. You'll have to um, he give me an outline. Out, he walked out of the Vandenberg place because of MJ-12. You're like, you discovered that MJ-12 were, were bastarding what, what around. What are you trying to achieve? Was he working <laughs> on a cure for the Grey Death or something? Or Okay, he sounds alright. Or was he working on the Grey Death? <laughs> That's very different, <laughs> yeah. We really need to get to him and, and work him out. Yeah, we'll work him out. Are you getting my chair squeaks? Uh, a little bit, but it's not obnoxious. Okay. I'll, I'll mute when I shift position. No, you don't have to. Oh. Uh, let's go and have a look at the prisoners. He kills one of the prisoners. I don't know if it's worth waiting for him to mosey on down, but there are a couple of... Yeah, so they say, I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. And then... It's like, look, look, I can let you out, guys, but you you, know, you got to be like... Oh, shit. No. He's coming. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna can get, get into right every. Right can you get into every room of this place yet? I do like. I do like getting into every room at UNATCO. I think so, except I think for you the... can, can't you? I think entire codes and yeah. things. I think so. Okay, so uh, yeah, not not really much to say here other than uh, there we go. Just sort of catching up. They appreciate that. Um, Okay. Oh, and we're gonna we're gonna add in uh, the running and jumping, uh, slot legs. So I'm definitely gonna go for the speed enhancement. So I'm gonna install that. Yeah. I'm gonna also upgrade it. Um, oh, 
which I can do by... I've got to remember the keys now, haven't I? Um, uh, right. But, okay, Ogs. Uh, and I'm going to use my one uh, thing here to upgrade it. And what I'm also going to do in the controls, I think, where, with the one keyboard mouse controls, I'm going to do F7, which is the legs. I'm going to put that on Q. Yeah, because that's an okay one to press by accident. That's an okay one to press by accident, as we've, of course, learned. Uh, also, the key <laughs> that I picked up at the beginning unlocks this door. Yeah. So we get goodies. Okay. Is there a button? Is there, like, a set of... Um, uh, can you group a whole bunch of um, augmentations to a quick key? Not as far as I know. That You mean, a group, group, like, turn them all on with one key kind of thing or not? Yeah. Not um, as far as I know, but that would be very cool. I'm going to assume that I can't do Q to several, right? So I can't do Q to F8 as well, right? No, no, it cancels Q out. Yeah. And there's not, like, activate... There's, like, um activate inventory screen, health screen, augmentation screen, skill street screen, note screen... So, uh, yeah. logs, toggle crosshair, toggle hit display, compass, augmentation display. <laughs> All these toggle crosshair, like, they just don't <laughs> put that in games anymore. Why would they? No. Send message. There's activate, ulti activate multiplayer skill menu. Oh, God, I do expect you to remember this. Um, <laughs> You'll say the multiplayer version. Uh, oh, yes, but it was rubbish, I think. I think it was fun, but it wasn't, you couldn't, like, it couldn't be a multiplayer game that you would play regularly. It was too chaotic and unbalanced, but it was fun to play a couple yeah, of times, I, I think. Mouse look is that. Okay, so I've got, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can do toggle uh, anything other than just one. Okay, but I can do, I've got the whole keyboard of keys, so I might, yeah. I might, for, like, cloak, I might do... Can you do, C? um, can you do, um... Uh, I don't know what word to like. Could you do like shift something? Uh, Combos. Don't yes. Think so. Uh, no, I don't think you can. No, no. Um, okay, but joystick button four for some reason. Um, I don't know. Can I? I don't know if I've got anything on my mouse. Can I? I don't. I don't think it registers mouse keys. No. Oops. No, I didn't want to do that. Um, no. Okay. All right. So I don't think my extra buttons on my mouse register in this game. It's a bit old. Are they not? That's sad. Uh, that or the mouse. Sense. I think I can do one, two, and three. So that's... Uh, and the mouse wheel, which is, I guess, enough. So um, we had a, we picked up a few health kits there. I think if you miss the the two op i think it's you get two opportunities to get the legs um and if you miss them i think it appears in in this cupboard at some point right cuz i mean the legs ones is so good that it would be yeah, yeah. To... okay we can look at we'll just go to jacobson i'm really just ticking the boxes of chatting to everyone um i'm pretending to be social oh he's not here but he has left us a multi tool so that's pretty good Okay. All right, let's rock and roll to the mole people. Now we have the mole people um, password because uh, oh, there's a key down here which I don't think ever actually gets used. You get Mansley's office. Uh, Mansley's oh office. right. Well, I think his office is locked later, isn't it? When he do you come back at some point and he's not in there? I think. Yeah, that Closet key. That's the one um, here, yeah. Is that, oh. oh, your nano ring unlocked it. Oh. Does it unlock the. Um... Oh, it locked it. Because <laughs> you've already been in there, yeah. Oh, no, no, it just. It, no, I, I. I don't know what happened. No, it was unlocked anyway. 
Does it unlock that as well? Oh, that's already unlocked. What's that unlock? It's a vent. You don't usually. Oh right, yeah. Lock vents, do you? Okay, what's in here? Oh. I think there's something in there later when you return another time. Yeah. I think it's a weapon mod. Uh, we can check our emails. Um, should we rob the ATM? It really, in in um, is it Mankind Divided? The no, Human Revolution, right? Yeah, Human Revolution. In Human Revolution, they really overdid the fucking emails. Yes, I think so. And then there's, there's so many computers to check with so many emails, and you don't know what's important or not. Yeah, and it was all written by people. In the future, it'll be yeah, it, like they were entertaining enough, but it was too, it was too much. Yeah, I never read them. I, I completely. You know, I, I was compelled to read all. Okay, so I think we're off. I will just check our uh, uh, notes. So, locate the airfield where the NSF has moved the Ambrosia. Investigate the subway system because the terrorists may be hiding underground. Okay. Uh, have you played? Because Hamish was. Uh, I think he. I think he. He saw your video of you playing Deus Ex, and that made him want to mm -hmm. play Deus Ex. You know, as happens. And um, every time. But he yeah. played uh, the revision. Have you played the revision? Version? I have played through the revision. Um, and what I do think. You think of it? It doesn't have the magic of the original, which I think most people will probably agree with. Like it, like John Romero has sort of taught me the subtleties of level design. Not personally, of course, but <laughs> like if you look at how Doom levels are put together, and then you look at, for example, and no offense to anyone when I say this, the free Doom levels are put together. <laughs> right. Whilst the free Doom levels are fine, they're fun. I like playing them. The way that they're laid out in the original Doom is. It, I, it's so much like I don't even know how to just say it or to describe it but it's like it sets the scene so nicely um, and, and you know in uh, you know in Portal 2 when Wheatley takes over running the oh, yeah. place the installation and he makes some levels some puzzle levels for you to do yeah um, they I, I listened to something somewhere I can't remember what and they explicitly said that with that they're kind of taking the piss out of amateur level designers like ah. Wheatley, Wheatley does all the stuff that amateur level designers do, and yeah, yeah, because Valve also they're very good at levels. I think in you know first person well, games. Well, you say Portal Two, I miss that code, but yeah, but the community levels on Portal Two are kind of amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, they made the tools I think very good, so that it was yeah. hard to make a bad level. I think is what they did there. Well, I, I only play the highest rated so, levels because you kind of rate them, don't you, as well? So I assume that comes into you only get highly rated. Yeah, I only get highly rated, yeah. So, uh, we've got some, we've got 3,000 skill points. What are we looking at? I mean, uh, pistol. I mean, it depends how much, because I use, you know, I, I use the stealth pistol non-stop. So, for me, I need to get pistol up to top as quickly as possible. But you don't really, so. And I don't use that many lockpicks. I don't use that many multi-tools. Yeah, I like, I like swimming, just so I can be underwater longer in the bits where you need to go underwater a long way to get secrets and stuff. Um, yeah. And I I'm like do... the... Is the one for lungs or is that just an augmentation? Is the one where you can breathe in? Environmental training, yeah, I think I tend to do that one. Environmental training could be pretty good, but I've not used an environmental item yet. What do you mean by an environmental item? Well, like a, a bulletproof vest, camo armor. Oh, do breather. they not? Does it not make you be able to be in gas longer? That's what I. Uh, untrained agent. Can use hazmat suits, ballistic mm -hmm. armor, thermo camo, and rebreather. Oh, okay, don't mind that then. No, yeah. I'm thinking of yeah, maybe I do that on the mods then. On um, the you know, orgs. Swimming's good, yeah, because we there's a swimming section which we might decide to do. You know, there's many ways to approach this. Uh, so a bit I of like the underwater bits. It's done better than most, and I'd, I've put computer up to advanced because. I think I would quite like to be able to... When, once we start coming up against NJ, MJ12, I think it would be quite cool to uh, turn turrets on them. Yes, that would be fun. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I mean, the thing is, I think I think whether or not uh, the um, UNATCO uh, people are, are redundant, I don't... I find it difficult to... I, I tend to avoid killing them anyway. Mm. Um, because so we're looking... I, at, there's um, also the thing of, like... Um... Because the ones on the surface, you could you could make an argument that they don't know, blah blah blah. But the ones mm -hmm. deeper down in the secret part of spoilers, in the secret part of the base, like they know what's going on. Yes, that's what I mean. The, the, the people in the secret part of the base are MJ12. The people in the oh, upper they MJ12. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
And they're also, uh, yeah, I, I think at that point in the game, I feel a sense of betrayal as well, and I think that comes <laughs> into it. Yeah, but that's just Mandalay. I mean, we could, we could, we'll, we should probably execute Mandalay. Oh yeah. I, I don't yeah. usually execute Mandalay, to be honest, but you know, what? no. I do find okay. I get kinder the more I replay a game. Okay, so we're looking at Charlie. Charlie, where's Charlie? I'll just put the lid on because you know someone could have an accident. <laughs> It's going to be me. <laughs> right. Now, there's a drug dealer here. Oh, man. It's, uh, is Zyme a bad drug? We don't really know, do we? Do we see the effects of it? Like, because here's the thing, right? In this circumstances, under this type of morality, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to shoot, like, a weed dealer, but I don't no. think I'd have a problem shooting a coke dealer or, or someone that does bad speed. You know, somebody's especially... selling, like somebody's selling like heroin to mm. poor people to, in order yeah. to make their life feel a little bit better. It's it's complicated though because it does make their lives a bit more bearable, but then of course mm. it ends up making them worse. And it's the exploitation as well. Like, is it is it linked in with yeah. you know human trafficking, for example? Um, yeah. yeah, no, the exploitation. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I wouldn't just go and ice a drug dealer though. Like, I don't feel like they're the they're, they're a symptom, I think, more than the cause, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it entirely depends how predatory they are, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, Even it, then, it, though, they are, they're, they're a symptom of a fuck system rather than... They're not the ones caught, you know, they're not responsible for. Right, so this guy, he wants... He wants a Zyme. <laughs> uh, my, see, my guess is that, like, if poor people can afford it, like... Because there's like coke and then there's like, you know, cut speed and yeah, good good coke go is is rich people drug, right? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can just blow blow up the we could just blow up this wall. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, oh sorry. So, um, by the way, uh, epilepsy warning. Sorry, that was way too. Yeah, no, I'm not enjoying that flickering. Honestly. <laughs> no, neither am I. I'm flickering. It's horrible. Let's go upstairs because we can talk to the gangster. Who does want us twice to do that? Uh, is everything all right here? Hey up, bro. Just so you know, you call yourselves rooks. Oh, like the bird, pretty bird. What's <laughs> up? Okay, they seem they seem they seem chill. That's okay. Sharks, the jets, and the rook. Yeah, is, it, is that named after the chess piece or the bird or the? I would think the bird. I don't know. I, I always the thought bird. the chess piece I'll, actually. I'd name a gang off a chess piece. Nah, no, it makes more sense to name a gang after a chess piece. Although then you'd go with something like kings or bishops or something right they're all, they're all also something else rooks rooks are the ones that go sort of straight and you know right castles, yeah yeah uh, we await your correction uh, re revision it? though yeah w watching oh. watching uh hamish play revision i like it mm, like it looks cool i wouldn't not play yeah. it but it doesn't really seem particularly seem that much better to motivate me to install it rather than I do like the graphical simplicity of this version, I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, we could give it a go at some point in the future. Well, I'm sure yeah. we will be at some point. We'll could you, really is it easy. something you could just sort of... Could you use these saves on it? Could we... I don't think give so. Give it a go for a couple of levels and then... Oh, a lamb for 750 He's asking us to take out a drug dealer. We don't what need a lamb. For a lamb. No, like we can get lambs ourselves. Okay. So we don't we don't want to get involved with this gang co conflict. I mean, it's probably for the best, right? You don't want to. It, it seems like disrupting the power balance of the underworld right now doesn't seem like yeah, yeah. like what the world probably needs the right now. Idea. Yeah, not with not with like COVID going around and stuff. <laughs> do you know Great right? COVID. This is do you know when COVID was going around? Elon Musk changed his Twitter profile picture to the cover of this game, Deus Ex. And, oh god, I've got that. Yeah, Jesus. And I'm thinking, like, this guy's obviously played the game, right? And he obviously like has formed yeah. a, a lot of his opinions on this game. You can tell. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna leave him alone. He took the wrong messages. But he took the wrong messages. He took literally. He wants to be. He thinks he's Bob Page. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like... it's fun. It happens a lot, doesn't it? With like satire. I mean, because this is. I think it's fair to say this is. Still, it might not be the most. Specific, uh, sophisticated satire ever made but it's a, it's a hysterical game for sure yeah absolutely and i think that that happens happens a lot with satire <laughs> hmm. yeah 
I mean, oh, you uh, know, famously with like Ali G and uh, loads of money and stuff like that. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I got a soft spot for at least early Ali G. It was, it was fucking hilarious back then. I used to mm. love it. It was very yeah. funny, but then it, it just stops being a parody anymore. That's, yeah, that's the kind of thing. Oh, uh, epilepsy warning. Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we can either use a lamb. Do we have a lamb? Oh, we have two two lambs. Okay. And we have a law. So we're okay. So we're going to just pop that under there. Oh, run away. There we go. Uh, and, and mostly this is... Um, Really, just to help the community, to be honest. <laughs> sort out their water uh, situation. Yeah, otherwise, I'll just throw the lamb into the door. Oh my god, ouch. <laughs> it's very little damage. You're fine. Oh, uh, that's okay, because I used to do the, the climb through all that stuff. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, I assume when we get down to the mole people, we're doing it um, like silent. Oh, hang on yeah. I just I just want to check something. I hope I'm not too quiet on the sound. Uh, oh yeah, that was, oh no, that wasn't that was Hamish, wasn't it? On one of the videos, he. Yeah. Am I okay? If I do this, do I am I maxing out? Oh my fuck! Yes, that's incredibly loud for me. I don't know how it is for the recording, but um, I think it's okay on the recording, but I don't. You fucking Christ! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is that any better? That's that's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, a testing, testing, okay. I think that's okay. I'm just going to check this. Oh, oh, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? But if I check Discord for... Uh, what was it? Um, voice and video. Um, okay. Oh, it, yeah, it, it gives input volume, input sensitivity. Okay. Echo cancellation, hardware acceleration, crisp. No automatic gain control. Okay, that was the thing that I was really checking on. Okay. All right, we're back into it. Okay. Beautiful. Right, so uh, Charlie will be pleased. He's over there. Actually, I, what I could do is... Hop over, just there we go. Um, oh, he's just, he's a homeless person. Where's Charlie? Is that him over there? It's just a bit easier if I do. Uh, are you Charlie? There we he's go. He's male person. Oh, he's or male person. person. Male person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Behind the ladies. Uh, is there? Ah, oh, there we go. So we only needed the yeah. We only needed the one. Uh, uh, goals and notes. We are looking for 5482. There we go. And on to the next section. So there we go. Decided against killing the drug dealer. Okay, yeah. now time for a yeah. save. And a hard save, actually. And a sip <laughs> of my tea. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I don't want to let that go cold. What, what are you drinking this evening, Chris? Oh, just PG tips with oat milk. Okay. If Ghosty's watching this with his eight euros, eight euros per hundred grams tea, his, his millionaire tea. I thought that was cheese. No, we're talking about tea later, and um. Uh. You're saying loose loose teas. You're saying I should stop drinking tea bags because you can get loose leaf cheaper. I showed him the tea I drink, <laughs> um, which works out to like I think it was like thirty five p per hundred grams, and his is like eight eight euros per <laughs> hundred grams. <laughs> okay, so uh, on our we should we should plug our Discord more. That's on the Discord. Oh yeah, we, our Freebooters Discord, which is a lovely place that we're having a lot of fun in. Yep, I'm I'm feeling it. Will be Oh, Oops. we'll link it. Well, it'll be linked onto the, onto the channel. I'm a, I'm a little worried that the that the audio, my audio is quiet. Oh shit! You, oh shit! Your oh, voice shit. Oh, shit oh shit! Oh shit! My voice. My, oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh no! I think so. It. I mean, it's going into the orange. Is that? I don't know. It should be okay. 
Is it? Is is it going to the same place mine's going to when I speak? Because I think as long it's a as bit. It's, as long as you can always, you could always um, pump it up. I think it's post. a little bit, a, a little bit. Yeah, but post is work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it's a little bit on this on the shy side. How about that? Is that is that maxing out? That's okay for me, I think. Okay. All right. That sounds better. Okay. Cool. It, this seems it, all this setup seems okay up until the point where where it's not, and then it seems to be really not. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, it's, it's great. You touch nothing, and then some for some reason it's just a bad one though. Uh, also, I just noticed you got Daggerfall installed on Steam. Uh, yes. I have. Have I got Daggerfall have installed played, on Steam? Have you played much Daggerfall? I've done like the the first dungeon like a million times. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same for me. Yeah. You know, this game's I, weird. It's not Morrowind. I also feel weird, uh, strange. That, yeah, like it's like it's more complex than Morrowind, but I don't know. Like I think it's just a little bit low fidelity for me. Yeah, okay. I, re I remember actually getting on like a cover, like a, well, a demo for it on a cover disc or something like when it came mm. out, and having I'd never played an RPG at that point. I think I fired it up, um, took the lady's clothes off in the inventory and giggled, <laughs> uh, and then went into the game and yeah, it was very confused and didn't understand it. Okay. I'm hidden. There's a guy on the other side of that wall. <laughs> um, hang on. Sorry, I'm just rearranging my windows. Uh, hang on a minute. Where's Deus Ex? I can't find Deus Ex. There it is. Okay. Okay, and he's leaving. All right, good. This is this is the kind of professionalism you come for. <laughs> Lick. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oops. Go on, turn away. <laughs> oh. oh no, oh. another one. Another one's joined them. Damn. Okay. Okay. I think I can I think I can navigate this. <laughs> okay. Secret brick. And the one oh no, but no, it's okay. This one is just an accountant. Surrenders immediately. Yes, I, love, I love this character. <laughs> okay. It'll be me. <laughs> so we want oh pepper cartridge, we want the nano key. Oh, you got a nice little setup in here. I said his TV's not working. Oh shit, that's not good. Wait, did, didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, and you. I had no idea you could just set fire to shit. Okay. Yeah. Phew. All right. Now all of these folks are uh, are kind and friendly to me. <laughs> okay, but there's a few bits and pieces around here that are worth taking. The Moptic Camo. Alright, good. Good, good, good. That's where I came in. And all, like, all of these just become, like, you know, completely... Yeah. I don't know what happens if they set off the alarm, then you talk to the accountant. I don't know if they stand down. Oh, that, or... yeah. Let me... Okay, so this is the one. This is an infinite, infinite. So this is a very strong bathroom door. They've obviously had problems in the past. <laughs> so. And there we go, on to the next section. So actually, we're moving through this pretty quickly. Unknown location. I love it. When that, yeah, first time you play, comes up, unknown location. Love that. This game's so good at mood. 
without oh, doing it, much. Uh, yeah. There we go. I mean, this 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 is the thing that makes the game what it is. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so we got we can do that. We don't want to go through those. What else have we got? Or we can just run through these. Yeah. Uh, um, I think, and we, or we could use the crate. We can use our F6 to uh, to lift the crate and build a bridge over that. But I'm kind of hoping that we can use our super speedy augmentation. So, do a quick save. First thing. Oh, there we go. Easy. Nicely done. Easy. Uh, EZ, as the Americans say. Yep, EZ. And there we go. I don't like using resources if I can help it, multi tools and stuff. Oh no, I'm saying, yeah, I will go to great lengths to not use 1% of my battery, yeah. Okay, I will save. Oh no, I use my battery a lot. Dude, I, if I can avoid having to use, yeah, like that one, I probably would have made the, like, piled the crates up and jumped over to avoid using, yeah, literally, like, less than 1% of my battery. Mm hmm. Um, oh, yeah. the um, the revision does a few interesting things, actually, that, like, I think it might be the revision where you can have um, favorited, uh... oh, shit, right, just going to run through this really quickly. Nope, too late. <coughs> okay. <coughs> run, 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 I run, run. Favorited. Um, sorry, what was uh, what did I say? I was caught up in the stealth. The revision you can have favorited. Oh, uh, I think you can have favorited augmentations. What's oh, the advantage guy... of that? Um, nine. Um, so you can select like what I was thinking of earlier, where it was like. Oh, you can like group them. You can group them. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, that's cool. There we go. And if we get in here, okay, he has the key on him, but I don't. I'd rather not knock him out. Okay, so we can swim through this, um, or we can go above ground or below ground. Here, I would generally go above. You think above? Okay. I don't know what's okay. This is unlocked, though. We've got swimming. Let's do. Let's do swimming. Let's do swimming. Do a bit of swimming. Why not? Do a bit of swimming. Otherwise, I'd jump it's over quite the beams. Like in Human Revolution, the system of... I can't remember what it was exactly, but... I think if you used your augmentations in a small way, you didn't use any battery kind of thing. And it would sort oh, of yeah, 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 the, yeah. Last, the last battery would recharge or something like that. I think that was uh, a smart way of doing it. Yeah, the last battery would re recharge, and if you... Oh, I don't think my super speed works underwater. Um, oh, sorry, I knocked the mic. Um, yeah, your... So if you use a, if you use less than one battery, each battery recharge, but it doesn't go up to the next battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like that way of doing it, so that you could um, that would because yeah, in this game I would even avoid putting my like flashlight on because it's always consuming. But whereas in that you could you could use everything a little bit, uh, and that made me use things more, which is obviously more fun. The, the thing is with uh, playing through as this is that like when I'm playing on my own, I would resave and reload until I get the perfect outcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whereas with this, I'm kind of um, living with think, it a little bit more. Living with it a little bit more because uh, I, you know, like for the sake of keeping the video brisk. And yeah. For... yeah. We're we're going for good enough, not perfect. Yeah. This robot okay. gave me so much fucking trouble the first time. Like I have traumatic memories of this part of the game because this robot gave me so much trouble on my first playthrough. I think I didn't have any like EMPs or something for some reason. I didn't know how to deal with it. Right. Its eyes are at the top of its head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> have I have I blocked myself in or something? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know whether you're moving Shit. or not. Okay. 
And I never thought of doing this. This could be completely like <laughs> a bad idea. That's working. Shit! Oh. No, it's not working. Oh. No. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no, let him gun you down. I want to see the gunning down. Oh no, I don't want to be gunned. <laughs> Alright, I think there's a better way of doing this without the. the... I was, in, I was saving the MP for this because it always gave me so much hassle the first time. I'm sort of, I over prepare for this bit, I think. Nice. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, okay. This is this is really cool the first time you play it because it's the first time you go into what feels like a secret base. Yeah. And that feels, well, other than the, the little MG12 one you've done, but that's very small. So, I think at the moment, because we disrupted their patterns. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. There we go. Nicely done. Uh, do me a quick save. Yep. Quick save. Actually, I might do a hard save in a second. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because this is this is a bit where there's a lot of opportunities. <laughs> yeah. So who's in here? Who are we dealing with currently? Uh, Lebedev. So who who are the like the the grunts? What? Oh, what uh, NSF. Are they? they are NSF. They're NSF. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to do, come on, Jacobson. All right. Also, one of the things we have to do, we have to get the recognition from spotting that, because you don't automatically get it. So. From spotting. Oh, the Ambrosia, just the over Ambrosia. there. Hmm. Damn it. <laughs> Okay. Oops. Am I going the wrong... No. All right. I'm going to let Jacobson, like, actually, before I even go in there, mm -hmm. I'm going to let him do his talking bit. This bit might be a one that I do re re -save, reload a little bit. But if I remember, if I remember my jujitsu, <laughs> I think we should be all right. Actually, yeah. Did I do hard save? I don't know. I'm 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 traumatized from the last one. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Better save too much than too little. See, I would just every place I'm in, I just stealth pistol everybody in the head. Oh. It's much easier. Yeah, but I've also done something really clever. What do you do there? I distracted. I made the the guy upstairs come downstairs. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, and we just got to lock pick this. Shit! No, what? What's up? What happened? The alarm go off. How? I mean, they, oh, they weren't hmm. there. They couldn't have seen you. I don't know. I felt like that was a bit of cheese anyway. No, it's great. Okay, I'm gonna let that camera die. Okay. Right, this bit is tricky now, but, and also, this might be the time to put any skills, oh, I don't have the, I don't have the skills to upgrade this. So there's Mr. NSF over here. Shit, okay. So we're going to wait for him to go past. We're going to use as much time as is afforded to us. Including a bit of speed. So 
Something happened. The music's changed. You feel, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the music's changed to action music. Wonder, wonder why. You clearly not triggered anything. <laughs> okay. This is another one where I got a right. Okay. <laughs> Oof, just out of his peripheral vision there. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Okay, oh, and also you. out of his peripheral vision here. Man, you are a terrible guard. <laughs> I remember I remember going through this. There's a bit of trial and error for this. Right. <laughs> Off open. On on can I bypass okay we can we can mow down some innocents if we want well nsf aren't innocents no one's innocent in there is nsf right there all right there we go that's what it came what, for wait what weapon mod was that uh i don't know we'll find it. uh what did we get we got range yeah get that pistol upgraded to the max are we focusing but on the you pistol? Never use. <laughs> <laughs> we are, because well, it's the good weapon, but you never use it. He's such a vegan. You're playing this like a vegan, Chris. <laughs> All these people and eat them. I can. You can only carry one light anti-tank missile. <laughs> oh, that's a disappointment. <laughs> okay. Would you wield them? Yeah, <laughs> I was actually saving them for taking out the robots at the Phantom Base. Yeah, place. yeah. Okay, now this get, one. Get before, then? Oh, Nano key doesn't have the right code. Sorry, what you get? What you say, Drew? Uh, did, you, did you get a get gun before then? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I do. I do enjoy the get gun. The robot. Okay, gonna wait for him to do his cycle. I think we could probably get out that door. I forget where the key is, but where's that door go? Uh, straight onto the helipad. Straight out onto the... yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> but he turns around, good. All, all of these people are losing their jobs. <laughs> we are a super soldier. <laughs> when they have okay. the... Um, What's it called? Not like a what's it called in a business setting after it, like an incident like this? What would they have? Not like a not like a debriefing, like a I guess an investigation. Tribunal. Yeah, something like that. Oh. They'd all be they'd all be fired. Right. Well, we've taken out the cameras. That helps. That's what you, we you like. Didn't no, you didn't notice him pressing a switch just like a meter to your left. I don't think there's anything in the bathrooms. Also, I'm running a bit low on running a bit a bit low on some things. Oh shit! Oh, I know this guy. Okay, I've got to go all the way back. He's quite a wily guy. Uh, did you just get a pop up saying you were connected to some Wi-Fi? Yeah, I've got a. Uh, it's my. I got a redundancy, so I've got power lines and I've got oh, Wi-Fi. Okay. So. Wondering, if something interferes with yeah. one, the other takes over. What, well, like? Enough. Can't wait till I get the uh, environmentally friendly battery thing. Okay, so he's going to go there, so we can sneak around. Oh, is that? Oh, there's some. Oh, is he going to hear me? I don't think they hear crates breaking, do they? Oh yeah, no, they heard that one. Oh uh, okay. They're almost uh, dead. Oh, oh man. So massive weird. massive frame rate there. drop. Oh, that's cool. Oof. Okay. Oh, I don't know what was happening yeah, there. Am I okay now? Yeah. 
Yeah, so, yeah. It, obviously, I think it spiked your CPU because your microphone was. Hmm. There's something on the other side of this door. <laughs> I don't want to just unveil myself to the enemy. <laughs> oh, there, there he is. I'll take, take that. And if he's pre oh shit. <laughs> oh, you good. I'd like to have a go at the ATM, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, right? Or maybe, I don't know. We'll do a no, quick no. save. Yeah, I think you probably can, yeah. We could try and see if we can find something tall to put in the way, which is, which helps. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 750? Yeah. I mean, that's worth it. A... It's absolutely worth it. Right. Now, this is the tricky bit. Okay, the you know... Not? No, the helicopter doesn't do anything. Um, so we've got two routes ahead of oh. us. But I don't think... Oh, God, they're still there. <laughs> is this walking into that bookshelf? Okay, yeah. All right. This might be the best this might be the best door to use. But there's snipers. So let's see. Can we see them? There's one up there. Okay. Okay. All right, that was good, I think. <laughs> Quick save. Definitely. Okay, so should we do the underwater way? Uh, what's the other option? Uh, we can go through there. Um, and, and just, I don't know, like we can go through there and come up the sewers? Yeah, I can't remember the specifics. Which, which do you fancy? Fancy some underwater? Yeah, I could go for some underwater. Okay. Where is it? It's like in this corner, I think. Okay, I'm kind of hoping if I stay in the shadows, will that guy? Okay. Okay, good. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, double oh. shit. Nah, I did not expect him to come this way. No, I didn't think he was going to turn uh, that corner. No, you guys weren't supposed to fact check. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, that fits so well into a video game context. It really does, yeah. Oh shit, it was oh, a sniper. Oh, oh. A sniper. oh where's the sniper? There's a sniper, it's... Oh, up there. Snipers you gotta <laughs> watch for on this one. Yeah. Okay. I use if I use quick quick run good shit no ow Oop. okay I actually think I can mm. quick save here yeah uh oh oh <laughs> hello yeah yeah you guess it's nothing <laughs> all right good and this is it nice this is done. the Very, di very different. That level goes very differently for me. Uh, does it go more chaotically for you? Just more. De everybody's dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I don't. All... I. Healthily, I don't get seen, but I kill everybody. Well, they all get to go back home to their families tonight. <laughs> I just hope we've got enough air for this. 
I think so. We got like a train. We're trained at swimming. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking good on the bar. Yeah. Not I think you can do far, this. Yeah. I think you could do this in untrained. Probably at this point, yeah. Yeah, that's quite quite easy for us. Okay. I like in Morrowind where you've got enough health regen that you just you can be underwater indefinitely. <laughs> don't know Stuff if I've like ever. That. Don't know if I've ever. I, I don't see. I don't. And I don't cheese Morrowind that often. Um, I'm I'm very much more of the role playing kind. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm the whole point of Morrowind for me, really. Like the lore and the you know the, the way the world works and that amazing, and that's what makes the game so immersive. But mm. mechanically, it's all about those sort of end game. And uh, permanent enchantments and yeah, health regen. Yeah, I want enough health regen that I can walk on lava without taking damage. Okay, so right, another alley oop. Now I remember this being quite tricky, but I do have a hard save. I remember this 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 bit being tricky. And I play on easier than you. Okay, so first thing is to get up under here. Is there anything down below that is worth having a go at? I don't think so. I don't remember there being anything there. There's a couple of weapons crates or, or thingy crates over on the other side of the pier. But... And some TNT floating in the water for some reason. Is there? Okay, so this. Uh, I'm just going to do an inventory of goals and notes. Okay, so secondary goal locate three missing barrels of ambrosia. Uh, Unaka will send a team to recover it. Um, conversations. Did we have one? Uh, Alex Jacobson. Uh, There's Terminal LaGuardia Airport. Uh, that's one of the missing barrels. Okay, so the second one is this one here, right next to us. The third one is in the basement of the jet. Hmm. Okay. Oh, flamethrower. Well, I'm in the water, so fuck you. <laughs> yeah, like, you've really chosen the wrong weapon for the, <laughs> the wrong tool for the job here, haven't you? Really has, yeah. Yeah. So I'm hoping. Can I? Okay. There we go. We just gotta kiss it. <laughs> the right of passage. Kiss, kiss the ambrosia. East gate key. Oh, that. Shit! 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 Can I hide behind something? Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, so quick save. Time to dodge the robots. Okay. Okay. Nope. Scanning no areas, thank you. <laughs> okay. If you're super good... Yeah, it's those lights. It's those dark... It's those big lights that absolutely crash my frame rate. Very sophisticated effect. Yeah, very specific effect. That's weird, though. Well, you know, glitchy old things, you know, it's not like it's tested against new hardware. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> remember having it, but also streaming to you and recording probably pushes it over the edge. Okay. Yeah. Quick save here. This is another bit that I enjoy. I like this area. Yeah, it's very rewarding. 
I like that it's very good. It's very atmospheric. Yeah. Okay. And here we go. It's, it's sad that modern games with their, like they've got so much more at their disposal in terms of um, at their disposal in terms of um, you know fidelity and graphics mm. and sounds, you know, all that stuff, and yet they don't manage to be as as um, the word you just said, atmospheric as. Yeah. This. Okay. <laughs> All right. You down there. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice little puzzle. Okay, now. Did anyone hear that? Also, hmm. <laughs> oh shit, that's the thing that sets them off, is it? <laughs> Hang on, did somebody move our plant? <laughs> it's the only thing they let us have. <laughs> right, and the code is 5914. Uh, are these worth having a look at? I don't think so. I tend to, again, everybody's dead, so it's easier. Just put a get gun into each of these rooms that blows up all of the lockers and things, and I can take my free pickings. Okay. We should do a thing where we force each other to play Deus Ex the other person's way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't know you could get up there. Oh, he's going to see me. Okay. That's yeah, new to me. See, the level design, it's amazing. This is, the, to me, yeah. that's what makes Deus Ex. The atmosphere is great, but the level design. Yeah, the level design is not going to go. Oh, he saw me. These guys are quite jumpy. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like he, mo he moved our plan and now he's jumping on our walls. That's that's one step too far, I'm afraid. Okay, phew. If I if I go further back. Here we go. Then I'll just do another quick save. Okay. Is there a guy in there? Okay. Feels very ob oblivion walking on these rafters. So he is down beneath us, right? Yeah, there he is. So, okay, one final memorization of the key code. 5914. Uh, yeah, where's the notes? That's not conversations. Where's notes, notes, notes? Inventory, that would be. Gold notes. Gold, gold's notes, yeah. there we go. Uh, 5914. Okay, 5914. Okay. Oh, can you hear my cattle? Yeah, uh, slightly. Not, not, not. No. Okay. And there we go. All right. Beautifully done. So, so on the course. plane, are you gonna are you gonna kill Anna? See, the thing is, I was expecting more backseat commenting from these videos. I think that you know, I was expecting people to like have opinions, but I think a lot of people right. are just like at, like looking at how I play and analysing on that. <laughs> I think um, it's one of those moments. This and this and Paul's apartment 
And one of those moments that separates this game from, from the kind of games that were prior to it, where you would go like, I'm going to try and kill Anna. In fact, I don't think I ever thought of killing Anna on my own in this bit, but I did think of the ball department bit. You know, in an ordinary game, you'd be like, oh, I'll try and kill them. No, you can't kill them. The game won't let me. But the game lets you kill Anna in this in this plane, and that is amazing. And it still was at the time, and kind of still is. Right, there is a... I'm going to remember that that's there, because the code for that is in Lebedev's room. Mm. So, I love the plane as well. Like, it's it, like yeah, what is this? Because this obviously isn't a four-purpose private jet. Like, people say private jet. Is this guy a millionaire? Well, he's got a lot of seats on it, so it's... Probably like a chartered jet or I something, think right? it, It's kind of like an Air Force One kind of thing, you know? It's like a set of repurposed 747 type, type situation. Okay, so we've got the yeah, key. This, this, this is for richer people than private jets. Yeah. Do we kill them both? Well, we're not going to kill an unarmed prisoner. No, no, no. What I tend to do, and I think it's the default approach to this, is just lamb this corridor and just lead her out. Lead her out. Yeah, just put lambs on on you know these these bits here, and then just like yeah, just kite her out here, and she triggers the lambs and blows herself up. All right, let's do that. Have you not done that before? I think that's the very I think... the very sort of default. Oops, I did E because that that would make sense, but no, I guess not. So like. <laughs> Oh, my, my CPU is spiking again. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I don't think one is enough. I can't remember. Maybe it's just it's tricky to get one, but... Yeah. I We've think two or three will do it. Okay. Yeah, that might do it. All right. All right. Um, there we go. Okay. Well, that's that. Oh, a whoops! What a horrible accident! <laughs> what a horrible accident! What was happening? I, I, do you know what? I didn't think of putting them there. I put them deeper in the plane and lead her out. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, Yeah, but I, do, I don't like conf... Uh, what do you call it? What? I don't like conflict. Also, this is what I'm really here <laughs> for, so... Alright, okay. So this is where you learn that you're not just a super soldier, but all of your memories are kind of fake, which is, I don't know, is that a bit stretching? No, I like that. Well, how, do you, how do you mean stretching? Like, credulity? Like, or It, it turns out you're it. only like three years old and a robot. No, I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I suppose kind of from your point of view right? as the sci-fi, it's like you learn, I'm, I'm <laughs> the robot. Um, also, there's <laughs> a guy... From your point of view as the sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a bit Total Recall. It brings that sort of um, mm. what's real, what's not real kind of thing. That's an enjoy. I know it's a book, but the you know the original Total Recall. That's a fun film. Flawed and weird, but fun. It was. I think it was like the first time I saw boobs on telly. <laughs> Look, the and three, the, the three. three, and it's three of them. I'm like, wow. Got three. From <laughs> wow, I was so disappointed when I saw boobs for real. I can tell you. <laughs> um, I keep meeting these girls, but they've only got two. Two, yeah. Um, so, should we get the recall weapon, weapon mod? Because we're not spending much money, really, are we? Uh, the what? what? The weapon, recoil weapon mod. Do we want it? 400. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, love the, I love the idea of upgrading the shit out of this pistol and never fucking using it. That appeals to me. I know exactly where we're going to use it. Do you want to guess? <laughs> uh, heads. Well, it's going to be used on heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where you use the... Uh, yeah, nowhere. Oh, no. Oh, is it fully upgraded? It's either fully upgraded... You or know what? Upgraded. Also. <laughs> okay. We're going to do the, we're going to do the little bit here again. All right, da-da-da-da. Okay. And then we'll just uh, do that. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Terrible accident. Okay. Da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, we, for some reason it doesn't... It doesn't... I, got, I got a bit nippy putting a jumper on. Yeah. I've invested in it. I, got, I, I spotted a great cardigan in a uh, charity shop. Uh, I love a, I love a cardigan. I, yeah, I mean, I think I, like, yeah, like, this has sort of started a cardigan journey for me. Um, 
There's those, um, I think they're a sort of a known brand or something, but there's an American kind of cardigan that's it's got a zip. Mm -hmm. Mm. And it's got a very sort of like, I don't know what kind of pattern to describe it as, but a quite intricate pattern, like woolen, a woolen garment mm -hmm. with an intricate pattern with a zip down the front. And they look super cozy and they're very expensive, but I might get like some kind of knockoff one. Mm. I like, um, oh, secondary goal, kill the joke. No, we're not doing that. Assassinate. Oh, we're failing two of our goals. Well, who cares? What was the second? Oh, Leb, Leb, who's Lebedev? Leb, Lebedev? Leb, 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 um, who's left for dead? He's the guy that we just talked to. He's the no, I know, I know, I know. But who is who is he? What does he represent? What does he represent? Like the NSF? Yeah. What's he? What's he up to? Oh, he's the NSF. Oh, he's him. We already met. I'm terrible with names. Okay. Yeah. No, he's all right. Yeah. We shouldn't. We shouldn't murder him. He was unarmed. We can't kill unarmed prisoners. That's just not what you do. It's like it's a pretty. Would you kill an unarmed prisoner, Hitler, baby? No, I'd educate him into a like you know a better place. Okay, how about not a baby, unarmed normal Hitler, regular Hitler. How like at what stage at Hitler are we talking about? Uh, post. He didn't shoot himself in the bunker, and you captured him. I don't know. Like trial seems more appropriate. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm probably... Um, how about Hitler's dog, though? No. And you heard. Rescued... His meat is super succulent. Well, no, because Hitler Hitler was kind to animals. Well, exactly. So we shouldn't be. I don't know about that. No, I'm kind of I... like animals. <laughs> just not dogs. You like dogs. <laughs> I like small dogs. I like I like the kind of dogs that dog people hate. I mean, I like all dogs. Danny Danny detests small dog. Small dogs are fine. I, I quite like when, um, apparently, when cats are raised, like, from birth in a household with dogs, they kind of become like dogs. <laughs> like, cat, cats what, are, in like... What way? Well, apparently in what way cats like are... Dogs? Well, like, they just behave like them. Like, as in, like, they play with them and they socialise with them. <clears throat> uh, cat, cats, interestingly, like, we think of them as individualistic, but they're actually very, very, very social animals. Um, I mean, you, yeah, you can see that when you see cats together. I mean, the way they be behave with us, like, I think they like, they like their, like, like a normal person, really. They just like, yeah. like, like some alone time now and then, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cats are very, like, should we even talk to Gunther? Yeah. Nah. We really don't I, care I, for our colleagues. I don't like Gunther. I have more respect for Gunther than Anna Navara, because Gunther doesn't. Oh, no, I'm the like other way around. Oh. Uh. What, 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 what's it about Anna that you like? I'm curious. She oh, seems to be more sort of committed. Gunther just seems to be confused. Y yeah. He's also more philosophical. I guess, he, yeah, I guess in a way, yeah. He, I think he thinks I do, I do, about... Uh, I think I hate yeah. evil people who are just like outright evil and committed to it. Mm. I hate that less than ambiguity or, or deceit. I don't think he's amb I don't I don't know about ambiguity with Gunther, but because he is he's he's aligned with Yanako, he does what he's told. Yeah, he's it's almost like he's not corrupt. He's just following corrupt orders, really. He's a bit of a simpleton. Oh, he's a bit of a uh, yeah. I think I think possibly yeah. Possibly, Navarra, I don't know. Anna, although I do have a thing for evil women, I guess, is coming into it. Yeah, oh no, like, Anna Navarra is, is you know, like, attractive and everything. <laughs> right, Paul's gone rogue. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So he's very upset Anna's died. I like, love I'm the idea. In the, in, in the future, this very powerful secret, whatever organisation, he's got his very... You know, his fancy office and his desk, and it's just got a big computer and a huge candy bar on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... This is... Uh, he, he tells us that we did the right thing. So, do we want... A get rocket, sniper rifle... Uh, let's take the tranquilizer darts, I guess. The the, the That ammunition is not super common in later game. 
What else have we got here? Shotgun? Mm, Not a lot of use. No. The shotguns in this game are fucking dreadful. Oh, but prod charger. Oh, we've already got enough ty that type of ammo. Are we sure? You've not actually been using the prod a lot since the first uh, bit. No, I know. It's okay. Not prodding enough people. Nope. Let's check out... Hang on a minute. Oh, wait, wait, Chris. I, I've, just, I've, just, I've just discovered the perfect joke. Mm -hmm. uh, you've not been prodding, prodding enough people. You need to work on your productivity. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Right, EMP shield or ballistic, pr ballistic protection? I think those are two that I don't usually care about. What's what's the you see EMP? Oh, oh, the anti EMP one is good, but it's for me it's pointless if it's not passive. In the in Mankind mm. Divide Human Revolution, it's it's passive and that works for me. But this, I'd never remember to switch it on when I need it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I could I switch it on, but it's also subdermal in so far <laughs> that that um you've gone you've gone you've gone spiky mm. again with your CPU. Is it? Is it a time-based thing, right? It seems to be on a regular time thing. Is there something in the background that's running every, you know? No, but I have a suspicion. I have a suspicion that it's... I'm sharing my my um, my screen, uh, whole screen. Right, okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just re rejoin the, the call. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, rejoin the call, uh, set it up properly again, camera on, and share my screen, and yeah, like for some reason, it's not picking up Deus Ex on screen share. And actually, actually, if I do, what if I do Alt-Tab? Oh no, it picks it up on on that. Okay, things have gone quite awry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> although, to be honest, I think this might actually be a good time to end the video because we've we've completed oh. a mission. Yeah, that's we yeah, rounded yeah, off. Yeah. So, um, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That seems to be the easiest way out of this. <laughs> but um, thank you all very much for watching, and and I'll see you, and I'll see, and I'll see you. Uh, in the next video. So, to do. Why are you ducking? Oh, because I'm cropped. Oh, okay. It'll, it'll okay. make sense when you watch it back. Bye. <laughs>